Hi there, my name is DJ Hombre from Digital DJ Tips and today we are talking about USB class compliance. Now, why does this matter to a DJ? Well, if you're using an iOS device and you want to plug in a USB MIDI controller or a USB SAM card, then you will need to know whether that device, that USB connection, is USB class compliant. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you can plug that same object, that same USB a device into a laptop or a MacBook and you don't have to download a driver such as an ASIO driver if you don't have to download a driver then that device is likely to be USB, USB class compliant which means it should get recognized by your iOS device. Now we know that iOS devices uh, are fairly um, how shall I say, uh, fairly critical on uh, the power drain that an iOS device can give to a USB um, external piece of hardware. So if your USB MIDI controller drains too much power from your iOS device, then again, that's another reason why that connection won't work and won't get recognized. Now, the, the way around this is to use a USB powered hub. So you plug in to the power socket a, a power lead, and then you buy a USB power hub like this one, this is a very cheap one from Maplin, I think it was about £10. It has a number of USB ports on it. So what that means now is that I can plug my iOS device into that port and already my iOS device is getting charged. Brilliant. So the next stage then is to plug in your USB controller and then that should give us the test between the two to see if this recognises your controller or not. And we'll get on to that now. The first thing you need to do is download a free app called MIDI Monitor. And what this does is monitor any MIDI, uh, MIDI messages between the iOS device and any USB device connected to it. And this will work through your powered USB hub as well. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so as you can see, we have MIDI Monitor loaded up on the iPad. We've got it connected via a camera connection kit through USB to my USB port. And at the moment nothing is happening here. And at the bottom here we have my synthesizer, my OP1. Now you could use a DJ controller for this and in fact for DJs you will be wanting to. So I connect it and turn it on. So what you can see in MIDI monitor is that detail is starting to get listed at the top. You get a little blue light flicking here which means there is a connection being made. So on my OP1 I've flicked to a mode that I know is going to be sending MIDI messages and at the top of the screen you can start to see messages coming out. So on your DJ controller what you do, you connect all this up to your USB hub and you would start playing with jog wheels or the uh, Q buttons to see if anything gets registered on this screen here. So on this device I'm going to start pressing buttons and you can see the MIDI notes occurring here. So stuff is going on and you can see that there's, there's, there's control there. So that means, in, in simple terms, that the OP1 is USB class compliant. The iPad recognises it, it can receive MIDI data from the USB class compliant device and everything's working happily. So if you have a USB controller and you're not really sure whether it's class compliant, this is a great way and a free way of working out whether it could be, could be of use to you with your DJ app. So that is USB class compliance, a quick and easy test to work out whether your controller will be accepted by an iOS device. So what will you need? You will need a camera connection kit, you will probably need a powered USB hub, and you will definitely need MIDI Monitor, the free app that works on iPads, i, uh, iPhones, iPods, um, iPod Touches and so on. Now, uh, where, where does this leave us? Well, if you have a controller, MIDI controller, and you're not sure, give it a test through this scenario and let us know. If, um, if we can start to build up a, a list of USB MIDI uh, and USB class compliant controllers, then that would give everyone a better idea of what they could be using with their Apple devices. Now, if you have a controller that isn't USB class compliant, 
then perhaps we need to get in contact with the manufacturers and ask why not. And the, the likely answer is it needs an ASIO driver or whatever driver to function properly. And perhaps in 2013 at BPM we will start to see more class compliant uh, controllers on the stands, which is great news for the DJs because there's more choice and great news for manufacturers because they're shifting more units. So all in all, I think everyone's a winner here. If you're using DJ Player version 5, let us know which controllers you have mapped to your, your app. If you don't have that app, but you're using a MIDI monitor to do your tests, let us know as well, because it'd be good to draw up a big list of USB class compliant controllers. Okay, so there you go. USB class compliant, it is important for iOS DJs. And uh, between us, I think we can build up a good list and perhaps pressure the industry to, to change their ways to USB class compliance.